if you're going to do marketing, you should have goals around that. What are you optimizing for? Some number that goes up on the screen. Content marketing doesn't mean your numbers go up. It means that business goals are met. I have a high proportion of, I would call them some lurkers. Uh, so, and this is the hidden, I think, value of social media where people go wrong with these, these metrics as well is that I've got a lot of people who DM me going, oh, I love that post, can't like or comment, you know, for obvious reasons, political reasons, but like this cracks me up or whatever. So we'll add to your view count, which nobody really sees but nobody else will see the like or the comment or any sort of other form of engagement. And I find that skews generally towards people who are in higher decision-making or like higher political situations as well. So if we optimizing for people who are like more explicit in the interaction with you, it's generally people a bit more junior because one, they have time, like we just mentioned before. <laughs> Number two, um, they're allowed to comment and, and lurk at, and, you know, be explicit around their interaction. Whereas the higher you get the executives, it's either not them or if it is them, they, they don't explicitly uh, respond. So I think that signal gets lost as well, I found. Oh my goodness, lurkers are where the magic happens. My biggest fans on Make Word Music are the people who don't like and comment. They're the ones who give me money every month because they believe in me and what I do. What are you optimizing for? Some number that goes up on the screen. And I say this to our clients too, like content marketing doesn't mean your numbers go up. It means that business goals are met. So like, if you're gonna do marketing, you should have goals around that. Like you need to actually say, I need this piece to lead to this result. And that's awesome. Like that's what good content does. And I've written pieces of content that led to 5,000 hits an hour for this, uh, for one guy's business. You know, we got him to the front page of Hacker News. Uh, another person, another guy's business got acquired by a larger uh, data company because I kept writing these, you know, sophisticated data pieces for him on um, a pretty popular data publication on Medium. We've had uh, one of our clients, like we helped them get to 1 million plus downloads of their open source community, you know, security project. Where's that number? Is that in your Google search console? No, of course not. Like no marketer is gonna go to a dashboard and see any of these things. Like maybe they'll see the number of downloads or something, but like what company is gonna thrive because they got 50,000 likes on a post? What company is gonna thrive because they got 100,000 new followers? None, that stuff doesn't mean anything and anyone can buy those results. You cannot buy a conversion. If your business lands one major lead from a piece of content, it can change your whole business. It can change the entire trajectory of your future. We're not selling gratuitously. We're selling the hope of a result, like the increasing the probability of something, a moonshot of something great happening. And so when I think about numbers, I just think all we need is one, you know, 